Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today, I have a poly gel kit from McCart. This is a fairy gathering collection and I did purchase this from McCart with my own money and I just bought this kit because I've been seeing people use it and I didn't have it and the colors in this set are just so gorgeous and beautiful. This set does include four different shades of poly gel and they are all glittery poly gels and let's just go ahead and get right into the unboxing of this set so firstly included we get a mccart hand file this is a 100 180 grit we also get the mccart dual ended poly gel brush the brush on one side and the spatula on the other side This set also includes the top coat and the base coat, which are both full-sized 8ml bottles. I absolutely love McCart's newer products. I just really love the simplicity of it, and it's just super, like, I don't know. It's just, like, pleases the eye. I just love it so much. And then here are the four poly gels. They are 15 ml tubes. We also get the little thank you for shopping with us card along with the nail extension gel instruction manual. This does include pictures and you can look at it if you are new to poly gel. And last but not least, this set also includes some dual forms. If you know me, you know that I do not like dual forms. I do not like using dual forms, but this set does include two different types of dual forms. We get the slightly curved and then the more curvier dual form. And I really, like, I hope that these brands are listening to me and start including whether an option if you want dual forms or half cover or full cover tips, but I totally really want to start seeing half cover or full cover nail tips included in poly gel kits. All right, so now let's move right into the swatching. All of these tubes are 15 ml tubes and you get four different colors and I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out and you can see the different colors and I do show the name of each color. I love these poly gels so much. I love that it includes a pink, a bluish purple, a clear, and then also like a goldish yellow. I was deciding on using the clear and pink, but I did only end up using the pink in today's nail set. But for today's nail set, I went ahead and sized out my full cover XXL Ballerina nail tips. These are from McCart. And I was just going to be using the pink poly gel on all of the nails. At first, I was thinking about doing ombres on all of the nails, but then I decided that I just loved this pink color so much that I wanted to use it on all of the nails. So I'm just taking the poly gel and squeezing out some poly gel in all of these nails. The poly gel was a tad hard, like it was just hardened up a little bit because the poly gel was cold. I absolutely love McCart's poly gels, but in the winter time, all of my poly gels and nail products do change a little bit because my nail room is cold. But now I'm just going to be doing the Femi Beauty method and I'm taking my brush and slip solution 
For my slip solution, I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol and I'm just taking my brush and molding the poly gel to the inside of the full cover nail tip. This is super easy to do. You just do a pat pat motion to mold the poly gel. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more poly gel, you can just take your poly gel and squeeze a little bit more poly gel in and then mold that to the other poly gel. Recently, I have been doing this method where I do all of the nails before applying them onto my nail. So once I have my nail all smoothed and the poly gel molded, I do just place it back on the nail stand and repeat those same exact steps with the other nails until I am all finished molding the poly gel. I do just quickly want to mention here that if you are enjoying the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button. And I just want to say thank you to all of my loving followers. And I just appreciate you all so much. And I am so, I am so, so, so glad that I am almost to 1,000 subscribers. It has always been my dream and I cannot wait until I do reach 1,000 subscribers. It will totally be a huge milestone to me. Now that I have the poly gel molded to all of the nails, here are how they are looking. I went ahead and did my nail prep. For my nail prep, all I really did is buff the surface of my nails and applied my DIY peel off base coat. If you are unsure what my DIY peel off base coat is, I do mention it in a lot of my videos, but all I do is take cuticle oil, rub that into my natural nails, and then I just apply a top coat and cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm taking the nails off of their nail stands and gently placing them onto my natural nails. Once I have them all on, I do do a cure of 60 seconds on top and 60 seconds underneath. And that is how the nails are looking after they have all been cured. Now I'm just going to take my lint-free wipe and wipe off the tacky and sticky layer from the tops and undersides of the nails. Once I am all finished with that, here are how the nails are looking. Then. For this method, there is barely any filing, like I mentioned all the time, but I do like to just crisp up the shape and file around the cuticle area, and then I also like to just take a buffing block and buff the tops of these nails. That way I can remove any excess poly gel from the tops of the nails. Once I am all finished with filing and buffing, I'm just taking my dust brush and removing any excess, any excess dust from my nails. And then I'm also just going to take my lint-free wipe and just wipe off any remaining dust just to be sure that I am remo removing all of the dust from my nails. After I have removed all of the dust, I'm just going to take the McCart top coat that came in the kit and I'm going to apply top coat to all of my nails. And this was just so satisfying. I love applying top coat to a buffed and filed nail. It is just so satisfying and so gorgeous. Just look at this glitter. I love how these glitters in the poly gel were iridescent and not only that but the poly gels did have chunky and fine glitter. Just so adorable and honestly this pink poly gel color would be perfect for Valentine's Day nails. Once I had all of the poly gel onto my nat onto my nails, not my natural nails, onto my nails I did cure in my lamp for 30 seconds. Thank you. 
After curing the top coat, here are how the nails are looking. I was totally obsessed, but you know me, I needed to add some decorations to these nails. And for my last set, I did do a butterfly nail set. And honestly, for this set too, I was feeling butterflies because the name of this kit is a fairy gathering and it just gave me butterfly and fairy vibes. But honestly, I didn't really have much fairy decorations for these nails, so I did go more with butterflies. So I'm just taking these ho silver hollow butterfly stickers, and I chose the split butterfly sticker, and I just placed it one on my ring finger and one on my middle finger. That way, when my nails are down like that, you can see the full butterfly. Super pretty. I really love that, and it was hollow, so like... 10 out of 10, am I right? Now I also had these decorations. These charms are both from Shein. And I decided that I also wanted to add them to my nails. So I'm taking my McCart rhinestone glue. And for my index finger, I wanted to add this little charm. I'm not exactly sure. It's like a heart. It's just a very pretty silver charm. And I'm just taking my rhinestone glue, applying some rhinestone glue to the back of that charm, and then placing it onto the cuticle area of my index finger. And once I like the placement, I did cure for 60 seconds, and that is how that was looking. Now I grabbed out this other charm, which is also from Shein. It is a dangle charm, and I am so sorry I am out of frame, but placing these charms, it is really hard because I don't want them to move around before I cure, and I really want to make sure they are in the right place before I do cure. So now I went ahead and grabbed some AB rhinestones. These are just the round flat back rhinestones. You can get these from so many places. Honestly, I just get them and then I fill them into my little containers here. So I could not say where these are from because I'm sure they are a mix of everywhere, honestly. But I just wanted to do some cuticle rhinestones around the like butterfly winged nails. So I'm just taking my rhinestone glue, placing a little bit onto my onto my palette, and then I'm using a dotting tool to place a dot of rhinestone glue and then placing the rhinestone. Once I have that all laid out, I did cure for 60 seconds and repeat the same thing on my ring finger. After finishing up the rhinestones, I did decide to come back to these silver hollow butterfly stickers and I just wanted to place one on my index finger and one on my pinky just to blend those stickers in a little bit more and I did decide to use these smaller butterflies that way they weren't like overly popping out but they were still just there and blending in the nail set to make it a little bit more cohesive. But now moving on to my thumb, I did pull out another one of these silver butterflies just because they are so gorgeous and I did just want to place two of these on my thumbnail. So using my McCart rhinestone glue, I'm placing a dot, placing the butterfly, and then curing in my lamp for 60 seconds. Once everything was all cured and I applied a top coat to over top of the stickers, the nails were finished and now I'm just going to apply my cuticle oil and rub that in to nourish my cuticles.
after my cuticle oil was all rubbed in, here are how the nails are looking. I was totally obsessed with all the glitter and the silver. It just was so beautiful and I loved the AB, the rhinestones and the little bow. It was just so gorgeous and I loved all the color in this nail set. It was just reflecting so much and it was so pretty. And honestly, I just love these butterflies so much. This set was so fun to create, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this set. And if you are interested in any of the products that I did use in today's video, I will have everything linked down below. And I also have a discount code with McCart, which is nailed by Brandy, and you guys can save 15% off if you do decide to purchase anything. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.